Hey guys, welcome back. Alexandria and Daisy here. So today we're doing an OG YouTube video. This is a what's in my bag video and I feel like it's just like a classic. You can't go wrong with it. And I love seeing what people keep in their purses. So let's take a look at what's in mine. Daisy, you wanna go sit down? She loves to crawl up on the pillows, watch. Comfy. So, of course, the bag itself. I have been using this Teddy Blake bag. This one is called the Kate Vitillo, and it is so gorgeous and classy. Now, I am working with them on this video, but I want you guys to know all my opinion is my own. I would never lie to you guys. That's so ridiculous. But this one from Teddy Blake, I genuinely love, and I've worked with them in the past before. I still have the bag, and it is still in great condition. It is this one by Teddy Blake as well. And I used this one for over a year. And I even used it through six months of esthetician training. Honestly, for all of the stuff I put this bag through, it is in such great condition. So you can see another What's in My Bag video on this one. Actually, a long time ago, I'll link it below. What I love the most is that the quality is literally impeccable. And it's made in Italy. This one is a smooth calfskin leather. So it's all genuine leather. And I was honestly hesitant to get this one because it's this smooth leather and I know myself I'm pretty tough on some things but I've been using it for over a month and there's not a single scratch on this purse so I've used it to go to work I use it when I was in Cali and it is held up so nicely so I just want to show you some features it's a perfect everyday bag because it has these little adjustable snaps on the side so if you want to use your bag smaller or just close it so you feel a little more secure and no one's going to reach in. You can snap it up on the sides and it makes the bag look a lot smaller and more closed. So I love that about it. Plus, like I said, I was using this in Cali and I'll use this as an everyday bag and I can unsnap it and widen it back up and it fits so much more so here she is all up close you can see she's got this beautiful gold detailing the Teddy Blake and the snaps on the side here's the back and it has an adjustable crossbody strap which I love because I think it's so classy to hold under your arm but at the same time I love the convenience of the crossbody because I love crossbody bags Plus this bag is actually suede on the inside, so it's another luxurious little touch. Plus it has two big zipper pockets. And that is all of the little reasons why I love this bag and I think it's worth investing in. They have tons of sales on their website all the time. So this one is around 600, but it's on sale for like 300 and something right now. So if you guys check their website and see something you like, they always have sales. So just wait a minute and be patient. It's definitely worth it. On to what's on the inside of my bag now that you know all the details about it. Of course, first things first is my keys can't go anywhere literally without them. I just have my Louis Vuitton card holder, which I feel like is probably the most used Louis Vuitton, anything that I own because it's on my keys every day. It keeps all my essential cards and anything that I need. Then I have, of course, my car keys, my house keys, and I have this really cute little um, keychain that I got off Etsy. It's repurposed Louis V. And it's just like my initial with A. It has a little flower and a little pink tassel. It had a lot of different colors to choose from. But of course I got pink. And I think it's just such a cute little keychain. And then of course I have my mace. Because you can never be too careful. And that is probably the most essential thing in my entire bag. Obviously my keys. Next I have in my bag my little wallet. This keeps all of my extra cards and cash that I can't put in my little car holder but it is so pretty and it's compact so it fits easy and it's just pink and it's Gucci and that's really all I have to say of why I got it. I love it. It's so cute and classy and this is my first Gucci purchase ever. Next in my bag is going to be my Sunnies. These are actually from Chanel so I keep them in the case to keep good care of them. And fun fact, I actually got these at a sunglasses hut and they have really good deals. Like I remember when I got these, it was like 50 or $75 off of your purchase for certain brands. They didn't apply to this, but 
they had really good deals for designer sunglasses so just a heads up if you guys want to purchase designer sunglasses check out sunglasses hut before you go to a designer store because it have deals but anyway these i just love for every day they're just like a brown tortoise shell and they have a little cc sorry about my weird little nubby finger i broke a fingernail at the gym but um has the cc on the side and i love them for everyday wear they just go with everything plus they don't have that weird little like nub on the nose so i can like put them up in my hair without it like grabbing on and tangling it if that makes any sense at all but one thing about the sunglasses is that they get like fingerprints on them and makeup on them so easy oh i feel like i have hair fly away i have to carry around this thing i got from the sunglasses hut as well and it's this really cool um cleaner for your sunglasses i don't know what it's made of but it's like a little spray it literally cleans them so amazing and it just has this like little cleaner wipey thing so you just spray it wipe them off and believe me i've tried to like <sighs> rub on my shirt no nothing cleans it as good as this stuff like i don't know what it is but it's literally life-changing so yes am i crazy for carrying this in my bag maybe but is it worth it yes because i literally hate like fingerprints on my stuff so and another essential in my bag is going to be my mask i got this at a little boutique but i thought it was cute because it's cheetah print so that's what i wear when i go in the store bougie love it <laughs> living in 2020 is something else and i also have my little hand sanitizer from bath and body and i have my cute little guy on it it's a little gingerbread from christmas and then i have my little makeup bag this store is just all of my necessities for like touching up my makeup or just like a lip gloss or chapstick and it's this cute bag it says shopaholic i'll link it below if you guys want to get it she also has shirts that i've worn in a past video but um i have a tiny little makeup brush just like if i need to feel like touching up my makeup like perfect it just like gets rid of any shine it's literally amazing i think it's from like bare minerals but anyways it's perfect because it's small then of course i have my favorite lip combo I have my MAC Velvet Teddy and my uh, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Plumper in Rose and Shine. I love these. These are like, if I had to like go out on an island and have only a few makeup products, it would be these two for sure. So, love those. And then I have this um, actual perfume stick from Victoria's Secret because I don't want anything to leak in my bag. So having a solid perfume is life-changing and it actually smells super good so if you ever just want to like hmm, I need to smell good real quick and you just rub it on yourself and I can already smell it but it's super convenient because it's not gonna leak and I feel like that's a nightmare you ever had your purse smell super good and you're like wonder why oh my perfume leaked everywhere nightmare I also have another lipstick on hand I feel like you never have enough lipstick but this one is the YSL um, Rouge Volump Shine. I don't know what color it is, but I love it. It is just like this really pretty sheer pink color. So love that one. This bag really does fit a lot of little stuff. <laughs> I have my chapstick. I have a lash spoolie because you never know when you need to touch up your brows or your lashes and i have a hair tie and i have a lip liner look how small it is i literally use this one religiously as well this is the nyx lip pencil in mauve it is my go-to i love to like get it down to a small one and just stick it in my purse so that is all my essentials in this little makeup bag i just think it's so cute because it says shopaholic on it and it's perfect for everything now in the pockets on the side oh let's see i have a pen from my little salon i get facials and get my lashes done there luminous salon and spa but i love it because it's a pink duh and then i have an extra mask because you know when you're like with someone and they're like oh my god i forgot my mask and then you're like well, i don't know what to tell you buddy but uh 
they're not gonna let you in so I have a mask just in case that happened to my brother like last weekend so I always have an extra one for anyone that forgets one and the other pocket I have a few things in here oh Oh, I have my gum. My friend got me stuck on this watermelon gum. It's so good because it's like so juicy and it's like a switch up from the mint, even though I love mint too. Then I have another pair of sunglasses. I got these from Target. I don't take as good care of these, obviously. They're dirty. And then I have a comb. I literally have a comb in every single one of my purses because you never know when you're going to need to brush your hair out. And I hate looking ratty, so. So that is everything in my bag. I just put everything back. And I'm going to snap the front ones closed because I think it makes it look more sleek. And I've really been in love with like black, sleek, very like chic looks. So I feel like this bag has fit my lifestyle perfectly. And it just fits everything so nice and it doesn't look like it's overfilled or bulky in any way. I absolutely love it. I'll just show you guys what it looks like on. So how I usually would wear it is like this. Here I just have it in the crook of my arm. It looks so classy and it's perfect if you just need to grab something inside. It's really convenient if you just need to reach in. It's not very hard to get into. And for the crossbody, the strap is adjustable, but it feels like it fits perfectly where it's at for me. I'm 5'7", so I'm kind of like tall, but I feel like it fits perfectly at the side of my hip and it's not too big it's not too small I feel like it's like a perfect medium sized bag and even if you wanted to put it over it's also super convenient if you're like a little bit more on the go I love it I just woke Daisy up from a nap <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and loved seeing what I keep inside my bag on the daily and you learned a little bit about Teddy Blake as well. I'll try and link everything I have in my bag down below. So if you guys want to twin with me, you can go check everything out. I love you all so, so very much. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye.